Okay, Lee, thanks for joining us. Uh, well, here we are, one game into the season, and you couldn't have asked for a better start, start both personally and uh, from a team point of view. Yeah, obviously it was going to be a difficult game, we knew that. Um, first half was quite tight and nothing really in the game felt um, gutted to go behind. Um, but obviously we showed great character in the second half and I thought we were deserved winners in the end. And on a personal note, obviously getting getting a goal in the league, first league goal for Dunfermline. And the most important thing is we get the, the three points and obviously focus on this week now. You look as if you're just enjoying playing football. Yeah, I think um, even in it, from January I've been enjoying my football. I think it was important. Uh, for me to get regular football, um, I made the decision to leave Hamilton um, and drop down to the Championship and I, I just enjoy my football and I, I'm able to express myself and I feel as if I've been doing that and I'm just enjoying it and hopefully I can add obviously more goals and assists to, to my game as well for, for Dunfermline. And as you say, yeah, no, great to be here and, and I'm enjoying every minute of it so far. And it looks like uh, the rest of the team are enjoying themselves as well. Yeah, I think a good group of guys, um, we all got on and um, we actually gelled quite quickly. Um, so. No, it's a good change now, and it's good to be part of it, and everybody's kind of focusing and driving the team, obviously, to success, and, and that starts every game with, with the league, and obviously we've, we've got off to a great start, but we kind of can't dwell on that at the moment, we need to focus on Ross County on Saturday, and hopefully we can get a positive result then as well. So Dundee United and Ross County back-to-back, -back, probably the media's two favourites for uh, for the Championship. Um, we've already beaten Dundee United, how much of a statement would it make if we went out and beat Ross County as well? Yeah, I think it'd be a big statement. Um, I think it's always like when you play teams, it's, it's you get have to get a feel for them every time you play them. With Dundee United in the first half, it was kind of each week I felt each team was kind of just sussing each other out, and then uh, we just obviously went, went on to kind of comfortable winners in the end. Uh, I think obviously Saturday as well. I think it was a tight game to start with, and then obviously I'm hoping that we can actually go in the ascendancy and, and win the game. So no, it would be a good statement obviously to put out there because everyone's obviously not got us tipped for favourites for the league and. Um, as you said, Dundee United were, were kind of tip for favourites, we'll beat them and, and if we were to do the same then it's, it's good for us personally and as I say, but we can't really focus on these two games for the, for the league because it's, it's still early days. And you're not the only Longridge doing well at the moment, uh, your brother Jackson's doing fantastically well, you must be delighted for him too. Yeah, definitely, it's, it's um, enjoyable to play alongside him and the fact that both of us are in the team at the moment doing well, scoring goals, assisting and um, no, it's very enjoyable at the moment and, and long may it continue. And finally, have you set yourself any targets for this season? You know, you're a, an attacking player, have you got a goals target in, in mind? Yeah, I'm just looking to get double figures as, as soon as possible and then um, push on for there and try and get as many goals and assists uh, for the season. For, in my position and, and in this league, in, in terms of obviously myself being here and done well last, last year as well, um, my target is to get double figures as soon as possible for goals and assists. So. Um, and then just try and push on for the end, get as many as I can for the season. And you'll know by now, obviously, just you know, going around the stadium and the fans, everyone wants promotion at this club and, and wants to be back in the top flight. Yeah, definitely. That's one of the reasons obviously, I signed to it in Fermi with a couple other options. And having spoken to, to the manager, um, I kind of kind of made my mind up. And obviously, the, the aspiring to get to the Premiership, and that's where I want to be back playing my football as well. And, and if it's with Dunfermline, then, then that'd be a great, great obviously thing for myself.